I'd like to introduce Mr. John Mortar. Please welcome him. Are we on? Can you hear me? I've got this. I just knocked this over a minute ago, so I'll just carefully put this thing back. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you for uh, uh, staying for the last one. <laughs> you haven't gone home early. Um, and uh, thanks to my news desk for inviting me along. And thank you for putting me last so I can make a quick getaway uh, if I need to. Uh, my name is John Mortar, and um, I suppose I am here to... Oh, I don't know, so just more give a story rather than to teach you guys how to suck eggs, really. I think is, that's probably the, the thing. Is that right? Yeah, good. OK. Um, so uh, there we go. It's a keep calm poster. We'll go back to that in a minute. Um, so what am I doing here? How, am I in, how did I end up doing uh, working in sort of social media, PR, etc.? cetera? Um, well, it kind of started by accident. Um, it, back in 2008, if anyone from, any of you can remember back that far, uh, I got... I uh, started playing with this thing called Twitter, and after about a month of playing with Twitter and learning what a hashtag was, something really, really weird happened. Um, I accidentally got a number one Twitter trend in the world. Okay, uh, it's generally true. We worked it back, and I've got the proof as well. <laughs> I started it. Um, I basically started tweeting because Twitter's brand new, Twitter's news, Twitter's latest things, and I thought when I saw that, I'm going to talk about old stuff. Um, and I just started tweeting to all my friends as if I was stuck in the 1980s. So I was talking about that new TV show called EastEnders that's never going to last six months, and that'll be gone. And um, how much I love Bobby Davro's show. And uh, also uh, that new Michael J. Fox movie, Back to the Future. And uh, how I think that might, uh, might do well. Anyway, um, started it on a Monday in a cafe in London Bridge. And uh, by Friday, it trended above Follow Friday uh, for the Globe. Um, you can't quite see that percentage there. In fact, neither can I, actually. I just can't remember what it was. But 17% uh, of all tweets that week uh, had my 80s tweets hashtag on it. And so I sort of took that and thought, well, I must be a bit of a social media expert then, whatever that is. <laughs> uh, if, I, if I can do that in a week, then, well, I pity anyone else that's in the business, really. <laughs> so... Um, so I thought, OK, then. So I, I then worked, got onto Facebook, and I started playing with Facebook. And I started trying to break Facebook and to try and hack it, because I do that sort of thing. And, um, and I thought, you know, I, I'll work out what things are. And Facebook groups, uh, any of you remember that Facebook groups used to be much better in the olden days, really? <laughs> they were just brilliant. You know, you could message every single member. So if you had, like, 8,000 members, you could message a lot of them in one hit. It's brilliant. Uh, well, I, I used that facility, uh, plus I used Google to find me loads of groups that didn't have admins anymore because they'd been banned, and I became the new admin of lots of groups. Um, and using that and being able to message all members of lots of 600 different groups, you can probably work the maths out, um, I managed to do something like this. I managed to get Rage Against the Machine to Christmas number one, if you remember that. Uh, we beat X Factor and Simon Cowell to Christmas number one because I was fed up with him getting number one every bloody year. Um, <laughs> And I used Facebook and I've worked out a way of thinking, well, hang on a minute, I can get thousands and thousands of people, I can send them all a message quite quickly. This is pretty good. And, and because I'm a social media expert, because I've got that Twitter trend number one, I can do this sort of thing. And lo and behold, it worked. And that's me on stage with Rage Against the Machine um, looking at 60,000 people. Uh, if you get the chance to do that, it's brilliant. It's <laughs> awesome. Anyway, um, so that happened. So we had a Christmas number one. And uh, suddenly, I started getting lots and lots of job offers. It was brilliant, absolutely fantastic. I was getting job offers from Simon Cowell, which I said, no, up, yourself, up yours. Um, <laughs> and lots of these weird things called digital agencies and PR agencies. I mean, at the time, this is 2009, I just thought, well, what the fuck are they? I have no idea what that is. Um, I, w I worked in a marketing, small marketing department for a hi-fi company, and I had no idea what these things were. So. Anyway, so I, I got a job offer and I took one up. And uh, uh, oh, sorry, yes, and that's a, just sorry, I'm just uh, moving on there. Um, this is the Hillsborough single that I worked on a couple of years ago. That's me in the middle there with some little celebs. Um, I don't know what, if I put that in the wrong place, but anyway, that's what I did as well. So I, that's number one. Um, <laughs> here we go. So I worked in social media, and suddenly I, I sort of went into the office on my first day, and they they employed me, and they started using all these weird words like engage and convert, gamification, what the fuck is that? Um, strategy, um, we must write tweets with five ways to SEO your 
fridge, um, here's a bitly and a hashtag. Um, I had to contact thought leaders, uh, I had to leverage key influencers, what the hell they were, I have no idea. And crowdsource, I, I just, these are all words. And silo, I, saw, I heard silo earlier, and uh, I thought they were on a farm. I have no idea that silos were, you know, something that I had to deal with. And I thought, and it was just like gobbledygook to me. I was like, right, okay, let's get stuck in, and I'm, because I'm, I'm a social media expert. And uh, um, that was actually the title they gave me. <laughs> That's my job title, because I thought, well, I better bloody do this, really. But what I found myself doing, I, I, my sort of uh, my role in social media and my joy of social media started to go on the wane a little bit when I was working in this digital agency, because um, you know it was very good fun and things, and I had to start my help making powerpoints uh, for clients, potential clients, and uh, bringing money in and uh, helping their social media. And I found that I was, I was making PowerPoints with, with these weird things, right? Uh, like lepers, they've got no face or anything. Um, and you'd, you'd have them, you know, like a red one in the middle and lots of blue ones on the outside shouting uh, because social media, it's your voice is shouting to lots of people, I think. Um, and I, I thought, OK, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Fine, I'll, I'll pitch to these clients uh, who are going to pay us lots of money for me to tweet some things for them. Um, and also there was something else that I was doing. I was making word clouds where the words social media were the biggest words. Because I, I was made to be aware that if you put that into a presentation for a potential client, they'll definitely they'll take you on because um, you, you know what you're doing, you know. Uh, and, uh, and I can see you're all impressed as well, so... Uh, uh, you can tweet me after and you can hire me. But uh, yeah, so I, I was doing all this sort of thing. And I, I, to be honest with you, I was just getting more and more disillusioned with this. And I was thinking, well, this isn't what it's about, surely. I, I just thought it was bollocks, right? <laughs> and, and, uh, and by the way, this is, I, I should just pick on one agency. I went to a second. I, I got I thought, no, it can't all be like this. And I, I found another job at another agency very quickly because I'm a social media expert. Um, and I joined them. And it was exactly the same sort of thing. I thought, well, it can't, this can't be what, I, what it's all about, surely. It can't be that I'm just employed here to uh, write some tweets and to um, use lots of weird words at potential clients, and then when they give them their money, um, I still do that, and then they pay me. I can't, this doesn't compute for me. So, as I said, I, I found it a bit strange. And I was actually going to leave the whole business. I thought, I can't be doing with this. I've, I've done this great social media couple of little campaigns, and now I'm, I'm just doing crap PowerPoints uh, in front of people. I can't do this anymore. And then I found something on Twitter that sort of just gave me a little bit of hope. As this chap called Social Media Dick, <laughs> okay? Um, he or she, it could be a she, I don't know, but it is brilliant because all the tweets would just be these five ways to improve your SEO. Here's a hashtag. And, and his pictures would be of him wearing a sort of a tie, slightly like that, and doing this really fake smile. Um, and, I, and I thought, OK, all right, I, I can see that there's, there's some leverage in this. And then I, I had a little play around, as, as you've probably worked out that I do now. And um, I made my own, kind of my own version of Social Media Dick, but with a twist. Uh, I made something called Automated Fail. <coughs> Uh, because I noticed that uh, um, there was lots of people on Twitter that were other social media experts or social <coughs> media guru they'd put in their bio um, or social media instigator, which was quite an interesting one. So using IFTTT, which I just heard, um, if this then that, which is brilliant, which was very early days of that, and Yahoo Pipes. Anyone remember Yahoo Pipes? Oh, yeah, good. I still use it. It's brilliant. Yahoo Pipes is a great, great tool. Um, using those two tools, I, I and Twitter... I created this thing, and what this does is it, it literally searches for anyone in the world that on their bio calls themselves a social media guru uh, or a social media expert, and it follows them. And it's a little trick, really, because I thought, you know, I, I was reading blogs from social media blogs saying, uh, oh, no, if, if someone follows you, you should always follow them back, always. It's, it's, you, just, you should do. What the fuck? I don't want to... Why do I should follow people that follow me? I, I want to follow people I want to follow. Isn't that the point? And I found a lot of these blogs bloody annoying. So I decided to uh, just work to see if this could do it. And as you can probably see at the bottom there, it's gone up even further. Um, I just followed lots of social media experts and I was tweeting absolute crap, rubbish, just no relevance to anything whatsoever. 
And it's got the 11,000 followers. <laughs> because they've all got auto follow switched on, because they think that's what they should be doing. And they should be following every, all their followers back. And again, I just, it, it, my cynicism um, it was just heightened even further. Um, so I'll move on to the reason why I'm here. I, I created a company, uh, a fake company, uh, mainly on Facebook, but it's also on Twitter, uh, corporate underscore brand, by the way, um, because I got a bit fed up with this. And I literally thought, this, this, sorry, this cannot be what it's about. It cannot be. So I went on and I made a new page. Um, and uh, yeah, I made this page, and this is one of the first bits of content, in inverted commas, that I came across, which kind of made me do it. Um, this popped up as a, a sponsored post in my feed, right? And it basically, it's from Purcell Washing Up Liquid. I'm, I never use Purcell ever. I do wash, but I don't, <laughs> don't use Purcell. Anyway, um, <laughs> so, which sounds best? Um, a record, a tape, or a CD? If you think record, you've got to like it. Uh, if you think it's a cassette, you have to uh, comment. Or, or CD, uh, you have to share. And I saw this and I thought, well, fuck you. I, why do I have to do what you tell me? Uh, <laughs> I always get that bit in. Um, but no, this really annoyed me because I thought, well, hang on a minute. I'm, that's not how you're supposed to use Facebook at all. That's not how it's supposed to be done. And I just... This really pissed me off, and this put me over the edge one evening. <laughs> I was so annoyed, and I wrote, and I was one of these people that wrote straight underneath it, get the fuck off of my feed, even though I could have just clicked, you know, ignore and, you know, don't see anything else from Purcell, but that's, that's too easy. I wanted to make my, my point made, and that really wound me up. And that was when, the following day, I made the condescending corporate brand page on Facebook. Uh, now... Uh, one fan, which was me, that's where it started from, that's the, uh, the logo I made there, and it just says, like our page, because I was finding loads of brands just saying, yeah, like our page, just, just click like, please, just click. Um, and that's the first, um, as, at the bottom there is the first uh, uh, timeline image that I thought I might as well go in with a bang. Um, I added the rubber duck earlier today, by the way, because I wasn't sure, you know, where that would go. Um, <laughs> go, go. <laughs> so, um, oh, and a rep from Coca-Cola liked it as well, which is what I couldn't get my head around. They were going, that's really good. Um, so that was where we started from. And what I started to do is I was trying to basically lampoon big brands that I just thought, like that Purcell, that were putting things in my news feed that I didn't want to see. And even if they weren't putting it in my news feed, other people didn't want to see either. These are brands that you might have grown up with or brands that you uh, might be familiar with for, for a very long time. And that suddenly I was seeing these brands that I didn't like anymore because, well, they were just putting crap in my newsfeed and I, why are you doing this? So I started just making content. I like that's that word. See, I can use the word content now. I couldn't before. Um, and I started making crap content on purpose just to vent. It was just me getting <coughs> angry and letting it go. So uh, I was doing things, we were doing things like this. So, um, um, you yeah, know, stop asking like <laughs> Uh, you, can, you can probably work that one out. Um, and uh, I like how I used the old thumb for a toilet. I was quite pleased with that. That was a bit of Photoshop and I was really proud of, you know. Um, and I'd post that on other brands that, would, that, if they were sort of desperate for likes and shares, I'd just go and post it on their page and, and see where it went. Um, I'd also do things like this. Yeah, bloody, you know, you see these all the time where you get killed. No. Um, inspirational pictures and you get brands putting in pictures of a beach with like oh isn't it wonderful to be alive and stuff um, so I, I sort of you know put that up that's by someone in, unimportant by the way so don't worry about who that's quoted by um, things like that I was also doing here we go look click like to tip the old people over um, <laughs> so the more likes you, you click um, it's gonna they're gonna go flying and uh, <laughs> That was actually one of my, that was one of the, the most liked uh, bits of content ever. <laughs> Crazy. Um, and multiple choice, of course, because everyone does multiple choice. So there we go. So I did my own version. Um, quality engaged branded content there. Um, <laughs> and uh, again, that was quite a popular one. That, that, that went around, that one. I've got a complaint as well from... Um, uh, it was actually someone, a, a, a charity, that complained about that because they, that was the picture they'd used for one of their, their, their leaflets and I didn't realise I'd stolen it. So, uh, I sort of, well, I sort of, 
apologise, but yeah, as it goes. Um, so yeah, I was do- just that was what the page was about originally. Um, but what I was finding was that more and more people were joining, and more and more people were sending real examples, and they were saying, "Oh my goodness, have you seen what McDonald's have done? Have you seen what Shell Petrol have just just done?" Um, we were just bringing in lots and lots and lots of different, uh, um, you know, different posts. And I thought, wow, okay, is there something else we can do with this page then? So, um, just up to speed at the moment, um, I've actually put May, I've left May up there, but obviously it's not May, it's June. Um, 70,000 suckers, we or fans, we, we really, uh, I'm very, very uh, honest and with every single fan that we have, because we treat every single one with contempt. And if you, talk, if you try and talk to us, we've got seven admins now, uh, we, we will be rude to you and we will try and just outwit you at everything you possibly do. So if you do post on the page and you get insults, <laughs> that's what you get, I'm afraid. Um, um, yeah, we've got a feature in the New York Times, because they got hold of it. Mashable uh, wanted to do an article on it. Um, it, it and Fast Company, The Guardian interviewed me. And it, it, it went crazy. I mean, literally in a very short space of time, um, mainly in the, in the uh, USA, actually, and the UK, <coughs> it really caught on. Um, bizarrely, um, in Australia, apologies if there's any Australians here, but uh, I had a lot of Australians that believed it was real. Um, <laughs> the, and I've got loads of complaints going, how the hell can you write such drivel? Uh, I think it's not real. Um, so there's a, a fake staff picture there that we would post up every now and again that we're all happy to have our fans and things. And it, uh, Do you notice I put status quo on the right hand side and no one noticed. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> if you're on beta.com you'll, you'll get that joke. Um, so anyway, so that's all we're up to, so thousands and thousands of fans. Um, and uh, I, it, I'm just thinking, well, what are we going to do with this thing? Because it was me venting originally. But now I'm getting more and more people sending stuff in, going, can you please po- repost this brand? They're awful. Um, there was even an agency that didn't want to be named and said, look, this is our own client. They're awful. Can you <laughs> <laughs> so, OK. So, um, so what we did is we, I've put together, and it's, it's using SurveyMonkey, so it's not, not uh, scientific at all. Um, all the people on the page, we did a little bit of a, a month or so where we were asking, what's your most hated hated Facebook posts, what, what are the things that you despise seeing that you want to throw bricks at your screen and your monitor and things like that. So what I'm going to bring to you now is, uh, in order, it's the top eight of the most hated ki- kind of Facebook pages by fans, by you know everyday users, and um, we're going to have a couple of examples of each. I should point out that every example you see, nothing's photoshopped, uh, nothing has been changed by me or anyone, it's exactly as it appeared on Facebook. And you'll also notice that some of these don't exist on Facebook anymore because uh, a lot of them got deleted and uh, um, they kind of disappeared. But uh, that's what's the brilliant thing about screenshotting things. Anyway, so um, I shall go on first. An easy one to start you off with. Um, it's number eight. It's called I'm Not Five Years Old. OK, so are you ready for this one? Um, so uh, can you tell us, this is Kit Kat, do you know where that is at all? What city? <laughs> Um, I thought one of you would get it quicker than that. It's London. Um, so uh, I noticed that they've done the top girl as red because it's, it's Kit Kat. Uh, yeah, let's go on. Um, here's a good one. Uh, Everyday Rewards. It's an Australian uh, company. And uh, yeah, what order do you do the shopping? For fuck's sake. But what I like about this, if you can read it, the answer will be revealed Monday. <laughs> We're not going to tell you now, because that would be too easy. We want to give you a challenge. Um, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. We'll move on from that one. But uh, it, it, you can, you probably work the order out. Don't tell anyone. You can tweet it. All right. Um, here's a good one. K, Kentucky Fried Chicken, Australia there. Um, om nom 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 chicken. Who can type the longest om nom nom below? I'll start you off. Om nom nom. OK. Um, yeah, uh, let's go on from that one. Uh, if you have a computer, click like. <laughs> what a fucking computer in the first place. Oh, let's move on. That's, that's an annoying one. Uh, what colour is this? Anyone? Again, I thought you'd be quicker than that. It's orange. Um, that was Rosetta Stone there, trying to get some engagement on their page. Uh, there we go. Are you awake enough to join the beans? This is Kenko. Um, Join the beans and see what you get. So anyone got any idea what that is? <laughs> uh, 
it's a bed, but what's good is that you've got numbers on there, so it helps you can, you can do it in order, um, which is nice, but it, it, it completely screws up your monitor, so don't write on it you know, if you can, like, like I did, really. Um, number seven, um, made-up national holidays. Um, I, I've been guilty of that in the past, I'll be honest with you, uh, where you go, hey, it's national um, carpeted dog day or something. Uh, what's your favourite carpeted dog? Tell us in the comments, that sort of shit. So, these are, are um, some classics for you here. Um, feeling wonderful after you finish cleaning the house. Sounds like the perfect time to celebrate dance in the kitchen day. Um, from Lysol. Um, oh, was that you? <laughs> uh, I did this in Ireland and I actually, uh, by chance, there was some, the brand manager of one of the brands that in this deck was actually in the audience. So, uh, uh, yeah, anyway, I'll move on from that, that didn't go down well. Um, there we go, it's National Banana Lovers Day uh, from Tango. There we go, if you like bananas, that was... Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, uh, I like this one, it's Mince Day. <laughs> on, uh, you know, click, and this is what I like, click like or share if your family loves mince. <laughs> yeah, so, not you, if your family loves mince, and you get on that share button and you, you, you damn well tell your Facebook friends that you love mints. Alright? Um, they said, Charmin fans, we're one month away from National Toilet Paper Day. Um, so it's not even Toilet Paper Day for ages yet, but just to warn you, it's, it's Toilet Paper Day coming up. So just to prepare you for this fantastic day of fireworks and all that crap. Um, and uh, yeah, um, do you notice the use of like in speech marks? Oh, I fucking hate like. When they put like in speech, click like and it's, they put something around it as if you don't know what it means. It's, oh, it does me head in. Anyway, number six, you're not real. Now, you're not real. Um, have you seen those Facebook pages where uh, they use um, like a character? So you, you, if you, you know, talk to, there's a certain brand, but they use their character to talk to you on Facebook. Um, you know, it's great for if you're, if you're five, but you actually have to be over 13 to use Facebook. So it kind of defeats the object, but... Here's some of the good ones. Um, yeah, this is a comfort. Uh, again, washing liquid there. Um, and they've got this really weird woman that talks, and, it, and, and she talks on the, on the page to everybody. This sort of, I don't know what it is, it's, it's hideous. Um, but she's new to Facebook, and she can't wait to meet you all. So that's nice, isn't it, from a, a fake character there. Um, just as an addendum to that, this is also comfort, because uh, we just like this post, really. Um, tonight, after the kids have gone to bed, I'll be treating Dad to a night of board games. He loves being competitive. How do you like to spend quality time with your, your partner? Uh, there we go. Um, whee! My beaner. Nice and simple, that one. Oh, yeah, oh, Andrex. I'll get back to Andrex later. But uh, when I run really fast, my ears flap. Look, giggles. Um, and Andrex do their whole page as a dog. And it, that's all it says. It's, it's incredible. I'm going to go back to that later. Um, here we go. Ah, oh, this is great. It's a, a really dodgy looking puppet. Uh, me and my rod. Um, this is Flint, and he's the, and I, I quote, the social media character for KLM Airways. Um, and they actually, when they introduced him, it, hey, it's our social media character. <laughs> what the fuck do you need a social media character for? Go away. And he looks dodgy. Seriously, I, I wouldn't trust him. If, if, um, number five. What album we got left? Six minutes. Um, I will not keep calm. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll go through these quick because these really piss me off, these ones. Uh, keep calm and wash on. I mean, fuck's sake. Uh, you know. Uh, and, th and these ones as well, they don't tend to put any sort of back, you know, wordage with it. it ju they just post the pictures if you both go, oh shit, I've never seen one of them before. That's so cool. Um, yeah, Morrison's Keep Calm and Shop On. Uh, that's quite annoying, that one, isn't it? Here we go. Like Aldi and enjoy bank holiday. I mean, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, see? That's a bit of a twist on that one. Um, wrong font, though. I think you've probably spotted. Yeah, I know. I was straight onto their page. I was like, you got the wrong font, mate. <laughs> Didn't work for me. Um, we're getting down to the nitty-gritty ones now. Yeah, it's Friday. It's, uh, as we all know, it's a marketer's favourite day of the week. Fuck knows why. I don't know why, but just, it's like, yeah, it's Friday. As if it's, if it's, it's different. So here we go. Oh, look, see, a little bit of a twist on the last one. Um, that's uh, the light in Manchester. That's a, that's a hotel in Manchester. And they do lots of Keep Calm posters because that's obviously what people love. Um, there we go there. Um, it's the weekend. Uh, what's everyone got planned? But check out the page name. Dialon, get the nation dying. <laughs> uh, 
So if you're happy it's Friday and you're, d you're a dying cat, <laughs> yeah, you're loving that one. Um, ah, yeah, happy face, yeah, it's Friday. That's Westfield there, because the pup is excited that it's Friday, you see. So that's, that's relevant there. Um, number three, desperate, uh, desperate times now. Uh, so we're getting really to the serious stuff now. The, the, these are desperate Facebook posts that you really think, you know, what the hell are you thinking? Um, yeah, uh, chapstick, like pizza, if pizza makes you smile. What it's got to do with chapstick, I've no idea at all. Um, but uh, that got sent to me loads, that one. Loads of chapstick fans really found that offensive. I don't know why, but it went in anyway. Um, oh, this is a good one there. Um, runny nose giving you trouble at work. We suggest you blow your nose. <laughs> but, um, uh, so a little bit of a tip. It's good when brands give you tips like that, I think. Uh, you know. Sort of thing. So thank you to Carefree. There we go. Um, ah, Walker's crisps. Can you name this the city where Gary is hiding his crisps? It's Edinburgh. Um, Gla thank you, Glasgow. Uh, and we'll give you another letter for every 200 likes. But what's worrying? I think. But that's all very well. But what the worrying thing is, it's got 1,083 likes on it. I mean, who the fuck is clicking these things? Going, oh shit! I need more likes. I need to know what that vowel is. You know? Um, Krispy Kreme, if you're happy to you know it, share our posts. So yeah, you want to share a big green block of pixels. Yeah, thanks a fucking bunch, Krispy Kreme. Yeah, great, my mate's going to love that one. Thank you. Um, ah, yeah, yeah, see, meals ago. Like, comment, and share if you agree that there's nothing you wouldn't do for your child. And like if you agree. So just if you're not sure whether you should like or not, you know, because um, I'm a parent and I hate my kids, so I, I didn't go near it. Um, Ah, the nadir, I think, of, uh, this is Andrex, scrunch or fold, um, this is interactive content, so don't you, don't start nodding, no, this is, <laughs> this is top stuff, this one. Um, uh, I'll just move on, because that's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Inappropriate, right, this is a slightly serious bit, so I will bring this down slightly, it gets better after, don't worry. Um, these ones are the ones that you just, you really just do face palm and you think, what the hell are they thinking? Um, this next particular next one uh, caused uh, a 3 a.m. emergency meeting at Kia Motors in Korea because of our page. So I feel quite proud of that. But we brought it, we, we took it to, to everyone's attention. Um, this is like this photo to stop her tears. Uh, it's an African child. Um, your single click is her crying hope for life. And what that link took you to was the Kia website where, yes, it was, it, you could take it a bit further to a charity donation, but it took it to the car website first. So, you know, if you don't like starving Africans, then buy a Kia, I suppose, on that one. Um, this one here, I have cancer, I'm fighting, and then you, I don't know if you've seen those. Now, you, you see these sort of like-baity sort of pages doing that, because uh, they're normally kids, but when you get like a full-on brand that sell, uh, sell picture frames, you do think, come on, guys, you know? Um, this is pretty awful. This is an Australian agency uh, who thought that it would be funny to create um, a fatal car crash or, or take a picture of one. Um, and uh, yeah, and uh, well, that's sort of self explanatory, really. Um, Volkswagen, incidentally, uh, stopped using that agency about a month after that we posted that one. Um, oh, yeah, 9 11, the day that shook the world. But hey, have a look at this, this piece, Rose, within our mobile phone. Uh, that's from Nokia. Uh, spreading the message of peace, because it's white, you know? Yes, um, yeah, eBay, would you date a younger man? <laughs> you know? um, and I use eBay quite a lot, but uh, I, we saw that one, and we, we couldn't see what One Direction have got anything to do uh, with... Uh, and I wouldn't date a younger man personally, but... <laughs> yeah. um, number one, you'll do as we say. Uh, this is, you saw one earlier, as an example, and these are the most voted for types of posts and thankfully I don't tend to see a lot anymore and I don't think you will either because I think, I think uh, people have realised that this really isn't the way to go. Um, it's the ones that, that tell you what to do exactly. So for example, um, yeah, uh, like this post if you have a birthday this year, uh, comment if you've got a birthday next year, but share if you had one last year. So um, uh, unless you died, then you kind of have to do that, you know. Uh, there we go, uh, British Airways, I expect better of British Airways really, but uh, there we go, it's uh, so taking your infants on board and you have to do one of those things, which uh, I, I don't know about you, but I find that sort of thing infuriating because 
if I want to use Facebook, I use it how the hell I want to use it. Um, you must comply, same sort of thing, that's Dove. I'm running out of time, so I'll speed up a little bit. Again, Del Monte, same thing there as well. Um, these are, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, because I'm, I'm running quite low on here. I've got some quotes, actually, I was going to get run through. Um, but uh, just very, very briefly, we've, this is some of the inbox messages we've had. Um, certain brands shouldn't be on Facebook. Why would you want to engage with a firm of solicitors? We run their page anyway. And they want so they pay us to do it. So they just they're just admitting that they're just because they're paid. Okay, um, a fan. I like the page because I just want them to sell stuff to me. That comes up a lot. We get a lot of people that are messaging me and the guys going, why can't they just if if they, if it's Tesco, why can't they just put the deals up? I don't care about the weather. I don't care what I'm doing at the weekend. You know, I want I want that to happen. Um, I work for a company here, so I might say thank you. Uh, they just do not listen to us when we tell them that our page is piss poor. They just want numbers, numbers, numbers. Um, I wish they'd just be honest and sell their gear. All this whoring for likes and comments has now made me unlike them. In fact, I've changed my mind how I perceive them. That's, that's a really key one. Um, I'm going to name drop now. Play.com, I don't use anymore. Used to use them for about eight years uh, because their Facebook page just asked me to like their picture every single post and it just pissed me off beyond belief. So I no longer use them. Um, a manager at a digital agency, thanks for doing what you do. These guys are proving that having a content plan being submitted four weeks in advance to the client for sign-off is utterly stupid. Our uh, posts are tepid and lifeless. <laughs> That's honesty for you. Um, I didn't, I, you know, this is a brand that, that uh, realised that we may have had a point. Um, so overall, it literally, that's what came up. And a lot of my inbox messages from the page is a lot of people just saying, it's, it's fine, just sell me stuff. If, if you're a brand that sells this, fine. That's what I'll do, just, just sell it, it's okay. Um, right, last bit, this is the last bit here. This is one another piece of content we did, uh, engaging content, we like to call it. Um, the social media dog, <laughs> dog feeding game. You can all join in, by the way. Um, so, uh, you can just take that on board there. Okay, so, so basically, we thought, Cupcake. Why, why do people tweet pictures, Instagrams of cupcakes? What, why is it? Here's our office cupcakes we've just got. I'm, well, I'm not going to eat them, am I? What do I want to know? <laughs> so we've got there's pets, animals, a cupcake, and special occasion days, which we talked about. So we put a hat on the dog, right? And that was just photoshopped up, okay? Um, so basically, if, if we don't get enough likes, the dog's going to die. So imagine, <laughs> right? <laughs> Imagine my incredulousness when literally eight days later, we timed it, eight days, Andrex did this. <laughs> it's my birthday to celebrate the lots of lovely things. It, 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 yeah, it's a giggly dog with a hat <laughs> and a cupcake. Right? And so we had a field day. We were like, oh my God, you, you thieves. How dare you steal our content? Um, then I had a phone call from Andrex. <laughs> they found my number. And basically, um, this post had been made nine weeks previously. Nine weeks in previous times, right? Because it had to go to the legal team, it had to go to the marketing director, the PR team, and then go back to the poor old person that then had to post it. Um, so actually, they'd done it before us, but we had no idea. Um, so it just gives you an idea that, uh, you know, th some t for me personally, well, I, I rarely use content plans because I think y with any conversation you have, it's instant. You know, you, when someone talks to you, you don't say, oh, four weeks ago I was going to say this to you, so I'll, I'll just reply in that way. I know it's got nothing relevant to what you're talking about right now, but it um, shows that I'm interacting with you, doesn't it? See, it's, it's bollocks. Um, so uh, that, that's me done, because I just realised I've run over time. But, oh, uh, the dog, by the way, um, it, it sadly died because we didn't get enough... Uh, <laughs> We, we didn't get enough likes, and, um, and you should all be thoroughly, thoroughly ashamed of yourselves if you were involved with that. So uh, that's me done. Thank you. Thank you very much.